What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you my top five favorite software instruments and how I use them. All right, let's go. All right, so I decided to jump over into Ableton Live today. It gave me a little easier interface to show you guys my favorite soft synths. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in and start with the classic. I've used this software instrument for 10 years now or more than that even. Um, I love this. Massive was kind of my first software instrument. It's what I know better than anything else. And I'm just going to show you a couple quick presets so you guys can get an idea of how it sounds. So here is the first preset. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but here we go. So that is just straight out of Massive. That's one of their presets. Kind of a little bit harsh, but you can go in here and adjust you know, a million different parameters. You've got four envelopes you can do all kinds of stuff with, and then four LFOs as well. And then you can also dive in and change you know, anything in all of these different parameters within the soft synth. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump into another one real quick. And this is one of mine. It's just a modified preset that I use sometimes. Just a cool little uh, background kind of thing for a nice little jammy, jazzy track. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Next up is something I recently got, and I was a little skeptical because I've owned a Juno 106 before, but a problem with a lot of these vintage synths is they take so much work and you have to get them worked on all the time. Like for instance, Juno 106, the batteries tend to die in them. Um, you have to replace those. Uh, the voice chips go out. It's just a real pain in the butt. So I tested this synth out and I bought it immediately because I loved it so much. So I'm going to jump in here and show you some of the presets I found that I really, really love on this one. And these are just straight from the plugin itself. I don't have any, you can see down here, I don't have any sins, don't have any effects on it. And you can hear just how fat and lush that sounds. And as a previous Juno 106 owner, I can tell you it sounds really close. And you can even adjust the condition of the synth here. Then let's load a couple other presets real quick. Here's another one that's really, really great. This is a arpeggiated sequence. And I mean, you can go in here and I could add some reverb if I wanted and, you know, make it. But just straight out of the plugin, it already sounds so good. Here's another one. And these are not my own presets. These are presets that come with it. So imagine what you can do if you sit down and spend some time with it. And if you hear a little bit of noise in the background, that is actually coming from the Juno 106. So you can take that away by taking off the chorus. But just like the real thing, when you add that chorus, you get that noise in the background. All right, one last one on here. And remember, these effects are all within the plugin itself. You can see I don't, I'm not sending to either of my reverbs here. I mean, that's got this beautiful, like, Boards of Canada type thing going on. It's amazing. All right, moving on to the next one. Now, this is one of my favorite hardware synths, if not my favorite hardware synth of all time. And Arturia did a fantastic job modeling this synth. Um, and it just keeps getting better every time they release a new updated version. So here is, um, this is a pad I made based on the Radiohead song, Everything in Its Right Place. So it's sort of got a similar vibe to that. It's obviously not the same thing, but here it goes. And then if I throw some reverb in there, it sounds even better. And then just to demo this next one, I'm just gonna go ahead and stack this stuff on top of the Prophet because I love using this Moog emulation from Native Instruments. Monarch, it is fantastic. It's probably the best Moog emulation I've, I've ever heard. So I'm gonna start with just a little lead kind of sound. some reverb on that.
and it just got this really beautiful Moog sound to it. And I'm going to go ahead and load up a bass, because obviously Moog equals bass, so let's check out a bass with this uh, chord progression here. I know this is a simple bass, but it just sounds so fat and so good compared to a lot of other Moog emulations I've heard. So this is a contact instrument I absolutely fell in love with about a year ago. It's basically like a hand pan type of instrument, and it's even got its own little uh, kind of jammer feature on it. It's by Sonic Couture and they have just nailed it with this. Um, I've been using this instrument and in everything since I got it. And here's just a little sample of what you can do with it. And if you wanna look at, I just have some kind of chords and notes in here and it just takes it away and does its own thing with it. So I take this off, you just hear. Sounds kind of weird, right? Not even in a key, but when you turn this on, it puts everything within the key you select. So you can just throw notes anywhere and it's gonna sound beautiful. And those are my favorite software instruments. What are your favorites? Drop us a comment below. Peace.